Hey y'all, hey, Erica with Time to Shrink. Today we are going to go over the second Q&A from my 5K giveaway. Congratulations to Penny and Dawn who won that 5K giveaway. As long as I hear from them, they're the winners. If not, we'll redraw. But hopefully I've heard from them by the time this is airing. Anyways, the next Q&A section that we're going to go over is YouTube questions. Some people had some specific YouTube questions for me, so I thought I would do that in its own video. So number one, why did you start YouTube, y'all? Okay, story time. I can't even, like, it's hard for me to believe that I'm a YouTuber, that I have more than two people watching, my mama and my daddy. Seriously, y'all. I was not even a, I was not a YouTube watcher even. I didn't have, I had a YouTube account because we had posted some videos of my kids when they were little like years ago, but I literally had never watched a YouTube video other than a song. I thought all YouTube was, was like people's home videos and like music videos. Like I am so not up to date on technology y'all. Oh my gosh. But last May I was looking into having vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery and it was a brand new thing for me. It was a huge struggle to make that decision and my daughter who at the time was 14 said mom i bet there are other people that have had bsg on youtube that you could watch and i'm like what people making videos about what and she was like seriously i bet there's a ton of videos on that and so i she helped me log on to youtube and helped like kind of taught me how to look around for it and there were so many people i found some amazing ladies that really had a hand in changing my life, had a hand in helping me decide that I was worth making this choice, that I was worth getting on keto, getting bo getting on board with keto, that it was that I was worth exploring vertical sleeve gastrectomy, that that I was worth it. They did it, they could do it. They made these drastic changes and maybe I could. Um, Tanya VDQ Creations she was one of the main people that really really helped me so she's who makes these cups and that's why I wanted this to be part of my giveaway because her videos were one of the first that I found not only has she maintained her weight loss for years and years and years she's also used keto for years and years and years and both just I don't know watching her and her experience and her journey just really rang true for me really showed me that maybe I can do this watch kitty shrink also oh my gosh and Esther from Esther's VSG and I could go on and on there were a bunch of ladies that had a huge impact on my life like like I know them from watching their YouTube videos like who knew so that's really what inspired me I made the decision that I was going to blog, not blog, that I was going to vlog my journey, that I was going to w put my journey out there on YouTube. And at that point in my life, I was not doing well. I was, I didn't love myself. I didn't really even like myself. And somehow, after watching a lot of these videos, I got the courage to take the next right loving step for me to start eating keto to get healthy to have vertical sleeve gastrectomy and through all of that i decided to chronicle my journey as well basically youtube was kind of my first step like in choosing me again and deciding that i was worthy and deciding that i was worth it like i never in a million years thought anybody was actually going to watch it like i said other than my mama maybe maybe my dad that was it but it started to build my self-confidence and my self-worth and my, self, my value in myself. Not YouTube itself, but like taking the videos of me and record. Seriously? Well, it's, it's okay. It's Liverpool. Uh, pardon the noise. Apparently it's okay because it was Liverpool. It's Liverpool in Champions League. It's you know, Liverpool in the Champions League. I'm yeah. sure they don't even know what Liverpool is probably. Okay. Anyways, so that's why I started YouTube, y'all. Now, let's see what's next. How did I get to 5K on YouTube? I don't I don't 
no in one sense I have no clue and in the other sense I kind of do so firstly like I said I never thought that I would have any viewers at all other than family I really really didn't and I was doing it exclusively for me to chronicle my journey and then I realized that I really really enjoyed it and I realized that it gave me an outlet that I wasn't having anymore because I was no longer working as a nurse it gave me an outlet to share to possibly help others to possibly motivate somebody or inspire somebody and I was able to take my love of cooking my love of giving and sharing with people and put all that into my YouTube channel and I just kind of fell in love with all of it. I just loved it so much and I morphed from just chronicling my vertical sleeve gastrectomy and weight loss journey to being able to share stuff in the keto world, to share my keto journey, to share my meal preps and my meal plans, grocery hauls, all kinds of fun stuff and to find a sense of community, to find other people that were doing this and get to know them and support them and be supported by them and the more I realized how much I love it, the more I decided to put work into it, the more I decided to actually work on it, to learn how to really do this well. I'm definitely a perfectionist at heart and when I realized that I was going to like this and that maybe I would make this a job in a sense, like something that I was going to commit to is what I mean by that and that it was going to be a priority for me, then I started to go at it full force. I started to spend a lot of time making my videos and sharing things with y'all. Meal prep videos take a lot of work. So it's not just meal prepping for my family, it's meal prepping for y'all and to share with y'all. And not only does it take a lot of extra time to, to film, those take a lot of time for me to edit. Depending on the meal prep, sometimes I'm spending six to eight hours editing one video. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. I got to 5K by deciding that I was gonna commit to it and that I was gonna put in the work. I work a lot of hours a week on YouTube. I, I legitimately do, but I love it. I absolutely love doing it. So I think I got to 5K because I chose to really pursue it and to give it my all and to really work hard at it. I think that's how I did. I think um, if you want like exact examples, I started doing some collaborations, reaching out to people who I really enjoyed watching and asking if they would like to do a collaboration with me. It's cool to do collaborations because then you get yourself in front of their viewers and they get themselves in front of my viewers and maybe we have some viewers that don't cross that aren't that aren't the same and we could grow some of our viewers that way and I think that kind of was one of the things but I think the main thing is just like any other job it takes commitment and it takes hard work you have to put in the time and I think when you work on your quality eventually it's going to get out there a little bit of its luck the YouTube algorithm is so hard to figure out so hard to figure out I try my best um, you got to really work on thumbnails I don't think I'm awesome at thumbnails I really want to improve on thumbnails but thumbnails are what make people click to actually watch your content so getting out in front of new people really really has a lot to do with your thumbnail and your title so you can't just throw up a video and then not worry about what the thumbnail and the title are it really really matters and what your tags are down below as much time as you spend planning and doing your video you need to spend a good portion of time working on that thumbnail your thumbnail should not be an afterthought learning that helped I think my thumbnails got better but you know some people that started YouTube at the same time as me have 50,000 viewers some have less than 500 and you know do they work less hard than me or harder than me I don't know I think some of it is if you just happen to get a video that really flies and then you start getting a lot of viewers I don't know I think recently I had a chaffle video I'll link it up above here it went really really well it's gotten like 14,000 plus views and I think I got a lot of new subscribers over the last month or two partly from that and partly from my meal my meal prep videos are starting to really get seen more 
I think those kind of things. My meal prep videos, I like I said, I put so much work into, and for a while, for a long while, they were one of my lower viewed videos. And it was really, it was frustrating because if I started looking at growth and looking at numbers, it was frustrating. Like, just let's be real, it was frustrating because that was what I put my most hard work into. That's what my heart went into because I absolutely love to cook. I love to cook. I love to create recipes. I love to feed people. I love to serve people. And I felt like that was the ultimate video for me was these meal preps and sharing all of this food with y'all. And they weren't going all that well. Well, now they're starting to take off. Now take off is still small. I am a really baby channel. I'm a small channel. So a few thousand views is like really, really good for me right now. Um, let's see. Where did I learn to edit? I had zero clue how to edit, y'all. Oh my gosh, if you go watch my first videos, I didn't even know how to look in the right spot on the camera. Like, it was crazy. But I am blessed to have some teenagers who understand all that technology and my 17 year old I guess he was 16 then was very very patient and sat with me and walked me through editing we found a editing software called Filmora Filmora F-I-L-M-O-R-O -O. I found that I did pay for it it wasn't super pricey at all there are way pricier ones out there my son has he does a lot of media type stuff and he has an editing software I forget what it's called that is way better but I just it was over my head it was too hard for me Filmora just made sense to me excuse me made sense to me it was pretty easy he held my hand through the first bunch of videos on it and finally I figured it out I'm definitely not the best at editing but I feel like I'm finally in the getting my groove with it and doing pretty well with it and making videos flow pretty well and Filmora is what I use there is a new version of Filmora which I now have that looks so freaking intimidating to me that I haven't tried it I've got it I paid for it I need to learn how to use it but I am not tech savvy at all y'all like not at all that is a challenge for me um and then somebody asked how do you make money on youtube and the main things for making money on youtube is you have to get in order to have advertisements you have to get I think it's 4,000 watch hours, so people have to have watched 4,000 hours of your video and you have to have 1,000 subscribers. That is the bottom of getting into YouTube Google AdSense. Google AdSense is who pays money for actual YouTube videos. The, the ads that you see, those give me a few cents per view and things like that. It's, again, a YouTube algorithm thing that I don't fully understand. I um, definitely, in general, you don't make a whole lot of money off of just YouTube AdSense. People that do YouTube as a career tend to make more money off of sponsorships where different companies will sponsor a video or they will send free things for them to review. While you're still relatively small, like the size that I am, people will send me things, like reach out and ask me if I'll review something. So free products is kind of a payment. And then there can be some, like for example, I have worked with Fresh Jacks and made a video for them, a small one minute video for them, and they paid me to make that video. I don't know if I have permission to say how much they paid me to do that, so I'm not going to. It wasn't a large amount by any means, but things like that. So as you grow, you can get sponsorships. You can make relation, form relationships with different companies, and they could sponsor a video. Whenever a YouTuber has a sponsored video, they always will say somewhere in the video that this video is sponsored or put it down below. There's also things that you can make money, ways you can make money on YouTube called affiliate links. What that means is if you promote a product, they'll give you often like a discount code or something like that to share with your subscribers. And when people buy things using your code, you get a percentage of what they bought back. It's just almost always very small. And 
you can add up that way. You can also do Amazon affiliate, same thing, um, but it's straight through Amazon. And so if I refer products that I, I mean, I guess it could be any product, but I only refer products that I like. I build an, you could build an Amazon store, or when I talk about products, if I link them below and you buy through my link, it doesn't cost you any extra money at all for Amazon, for any link on Amazon, but I'll get a few cents back. So last month I made $12 on Amazon affiliates, so it's not like I'm rolling in it on Amazon or anything, y'all, but it adds up. So, you know, the little bit from the relationship with the company, the little bit from Amazon, the little bit from Google AdSense, it starts to add up. Now, for the hours that I put into this, it definitely per hour is paying next to nothing for me at this point but i don't do it for the money i do it because i absolutely love it i love doing youtube i love making videos i love connecting with y'all i absolutely love connecting with y'all i love when y'all leave comments i respond to every single comment and i plan to always respond to every single comment even when i have hundreds of comments on a video i can find the time to answer them and i want to i want to get to know y'all and the more you leave comments for me the more i'm able to do that so i think that is all the youtube questions i hope y'all found that helpful i since there were enough specific YouTube questions. I thought I would make a video on it. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any more specific YouTube questions, please ask me. You know, I'm still a baby channel. I'm still relatively new. I'm still learning, but I'm, I'm happy to share. I'm an open book, so just ask. All right. Bye, y'all.